last of these videos for um, amount of substance, we're going to look at how you would calculate atom economy. And this is something that you have done at GCSE. We're going to add up the MR of the product that we want and divide by the MR of the products of all of the products together. And we're going to use that to calculate how many of the atoms end up in the useful product, how much waste we've got. It is all about the waste. So if you've got 50% atom economy, you've got 50% waste. If you've got 70% atom economy, you've got 30% waste. It's all about how much is wasted and how much goes into the product that you want. So all you need for this is the balanced equation. So what you need to do is use your balanced equation and add up the MRs. So it's asking us to add up the MRs of the product we want because we're trying to work out here what the atom economy in the preparation of propan one all is. So add up propan one all. Pause the video and add up the MR of propan one all and the MR of all the products. If you've done that, you should have got these numbers. And therefore, the atom economy is 60, the one we want, over all of them, times 100%. So this is just over a third, 36.8%. What that means is that there's an awful lot of waste. There's a lot of waste. We've got 63% of everything we put in is wasted at the end. And we would have to find a use for that or dispose of that at cost because you can't just put chemicals in the regular rubbish. So you need to think about how much waste you're generating. Let's consider then how the type of reaction could be changed in order to improve the atom economy. Addition reactions where two things are just added to make one and there's only one product are by their nature going to have 100% atom economy because there's only one product. Whereas substitution and elimination reactions where there's multiple products will have atom economies that are less. So could we work out a way to make our chemicals by addition rather than a different method? So we've got some methods here. I'm going to give you the balanced equation because at this stage we haven't learned them all. I'm going to hydrate, add water to ethene to make ethanol. What type of reaction is that? Well, we are adding two things together to make one, so that is addition. Pause the video and see if you can calculate the atom economy. Now, given there's only one product, I don't even need to calculate the MR. There is one product, therefore all of the atoms are in the product that we want. It's 100%. Now, if we made the ethanol a different way, so if we made it from chloroethane, again, because we haven't learned these reactions yet, I'm just going to give you the equations by reaction with sodium hydroxide. This is a swapping. We've swapped. I'll show you in a minute where we've done some swapping. We've substituted. We've substituted the Cl for the OH. Notice that they've swapped places. So what's the atom economy here? So you're going to need to add up the MR of the product you want. So what's the MR of the product you want and what's the MR of everything? So if we add up the ethanol, we should see that we add it up, we get 46. And if we add up the sodium chloride, we get 58.5, 23.35.5. So what's our atom economy? So our atom economy is 46, the useful product, over the sum of both. So add those two up together, get 104.5 times 100% because it's an atom economy. And we're getting about a 44% atom economy. So 44% of the atoms are in the useful product and 56% are in the waste. And it doesn't look like that because we're not counting atoms, we're counting the MR of the atoms. And then our final method, if we try to do it from glucose, C6H12O6, going to ethanol and carbon dioxide, you might have learned this one at school. This is an elimination reaction, it's, we're re removing things. 
but you may well have called it fermentation at school because that's the name of the type of process. Can you work out the atom economy of this method? So just one thing to watch out for here, although the MR of ethanol is 46, both ethanols are useful, so it's two lots of 46 over all of the products, so it's two ethanols and two carbon dioxides, all of those atoms need to be added up and we're getting a 51% atom economy. So if I was picking a method to make ethanol as a chemist, I would pick the top one with 100% atom economy and that is how chemists would make um, ethanol for use in the lab. Obviously not for use for drinking, so when we're talking about ethanol in alcoholic drinks we would make it by fermentation because we wouldn't want to drink the chemicals that are coming from ethene or crude oil. So this is how you calculate atom economy and there's more in your pack for you to practice.